Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I am doing a first impression both with a palette but with a whole brand because I have never tested this brand before. And as you have already seen in the title, it is with Odin's Eye and I am testing out my friend Annette's collab palette with Odin's Eye. And Onan's Eye is a Swedish indie brand. They are based in China, if I'm not mistaken, but it is a Swedish based indie brand and they are doing the Nordic mythology theme. And I have wanted to test Onan's Eye for so long. I have been close to purchase more than once, but then my friend Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner did a collab palette with Odin's Eye and I was like, okay, maybe it is the time now. So what I have ordered and what I'm going to do a first impression on, maybe I can show the other two things first. I did order two palettes and one lipstick. So I did order Urd. I loved or I love when people have shown this and I'm of course doing a video with this one. This is a smaller pan. It is a six pan palette. <laughs> it has a split pan in the middle and it's going to the greenish side. And I'm going to be testing this out. And then I also bought one of their matte lip stain in red apple and this I've talked about this for a really long time ago that I wanted to try it. So it is a red lip stain. I think I will use this today. I also bought one of these brush cleansers. One of these sponges because I have one but that is... I have had it for so many years and it's like... It's getting a little bit torn so I was like okay I'm buying a new one. And then I bought the Giant Wolf. The Giant Wolf's palette that is Annette's palette and they did three collab palettes and I bought Annette's and with all of their, the palettes you get like a little silk scarf that is, yeah, the front of the palette. I think that is like a fun little extra thing to the palette but okay maybe you want to see the palette it looks like this and I think it's a really cool and grungy palette and I think it's fun because it wasn't that long time ago since Annette did the collab with the Menagerie and I think this is like the complete difference from that one but I really do love the color store of this one and I of course want to support my friend Annette and yeah, I think I'm going to do a pretty dark look today using this green I think and maybe this one. I think I will do that at least. And yeah, this will be the first time that I try Odin's eye as well. And one thing that I didn't know about the palettes, I don't think I can show you. But they are like a little bit... They are not smooth, can you hear this? They have some texture to them. I didn't know that that was the case. Now we can see a close up on the palette maybe. So okay, <laughs> I am going to prime my eyes and then we get started. My first time with Odin's eye. So time for a dark and grungy look. I think I will start with, I don't know, this, this palette is only like this, but it's not YouTube friendly like that. Not for me at least. So I'm going to start with this green and then take this green. Maybe I I will see how they look, how dark they are, how intense they are. But I want to take this flare on my lid and I think I will deepen it down with this one. So I'm just going to start and we will see. It feels like it was a long time ago since I tried like a completely new brand because Odin's Eye has been existing for a while, but I haven't tested them out, but I know that a lot of people like them and 
it hasn't like only been that I have put anything okay so far so good it needs a little bit of a build-up I really do like this color and I'm so happy for Annette to do this I think it's so fun for indie brands to collab with youtubers they also did two other palettes with two youtubers but I only bought this one but I think it's really really fun and I think that it's more fun when brands like smaller indie brands does collabs with youtubers than like bigger brands do it this was so such a nice color it just need a little bit of building up and I think it's so fun to see okay maybe I should show you Annette's other collab palette was the Serenity palette from Menagerie and I think it's fun that she does one of these palettes and then in her second collab she does one of these now my brushes is falling off I think it really shows like Annette's different sides. I'm sorry for all the sounds and I don't know what I'm doing right now. I think it's so fun that you do two absolutely different palettes but it's still both of them are very Annette. It doesn't feel like I need to deepen this down at all so I don't know if this is a black one. But it looks really really dark. I think it's black one. Maybe I should swatch it. It's a really... It is a black one. So... Shit, where do I have something to take this away? So, I think I will go in with that black one. It's just the black one and then this shimmer. And I think that will go super amazing with a red lip. And these brushes. Okay, so now we will see if it is the black on my eye as well. Yeah. And this was really, really, really opaque. I really started to love doing smoky eyes and nowadays I love a black shadow in the palette and before I did not I think I just want to take a cleaner blending brush and just smudge this okay so it's time for the green shimmer and now we will see if this will go on on its own or if I cut it. It looks good on the brush so we will see how it will look. Okay, it is a little bit flaky so if you want 100% control over this I would recommend a glitter primer because I think this will go all over but I actually don't think I mind this is a really nice green glitter shade shimmer shade it's so many specks in this I just love it. I just do want to dip my brush a little bit into the black one. Tap it off. And take it a little bit over the green. And then go in with my brush with where I had the green shade. And take it on. I guess that so many people have done this look with this palette, but how can you not? 
I am in love with these lids, so I am going to try to get out the shimmer specks that I have under my eyes. I know when I will wash this off later tonight, I'm going to have shimmer specks all over my face. Then I just think that I will go in with this green one on my lower lash, maybe deepen it down a little bit with a black just to connect. And then I think I might want to take something in my inner corners. But I will fix my base and do everything ready, try the lip stain. So I will fix that and then I come back and give you my first impression review on the palette and on yeah, the first shades I try for Mona's eye. So yeah, I will do that and then I come back. I can start with what I took in my waterline. I took Wildcat from Colourpop and I took this red apple and it has a little bit of smell to it, like sweeter, but not sweet. I don't know. I'm not super fond of that, but the color, this is an amazing red one and it feels a little bit like, I don't know. I can feel it, but I... I don't know, I really love the color, I will see how it wears, and for my inner corners I did go in with this purple shimmer and I think it looks really really good and I am really happy with this look, I think it turned out so so good, I love the black shade and I love the shimmer shade even though I still have some like glitter specks on my face. I tried to get them all away, but they got stuck. But I do really love this look. I love it with the lips. I like the inner corner shade and I like the palette. If Oda's eyes palettes are this formula while the other I I think they did do a great eyeshadow. I will test out the Urid palette soon i don't know when but i will test it out and do a video on it but yeah the colors that i've used from this i really do like them i had to build them up maybe not the black one because that was really really black but the shade that i have in my crease i did need to build it up but when it is darker shades i like when they are <laughs> when you have to build them up so you can use them in your crease and I think this is just a grungy cool look I do really like it so yeah my first impression of Odin's Eye and my first impression of this palette is that I like it I will do more videos with this I don't know if I will maybe do two looks one palette or if I just will do more looks with it but it's going to be fun to test out the other shimmers and also like to see how deep these other darker colors are and yeah it will be fun to use this more so yeah i think that was all for this video i don't know what more to say i like it i the lipstick i don't know it is like completely it's a lip stain but it feels like i have Maybe like a shark board crayon, shark. Is it even called that? You know, like you draw on a blackboard shark. Haven't said that English word for a couple of years. Um, it feels like that. And rocked it. But it feels good. It doesn't feel drying on my lips. I can't like feel it if I'm not smacking my lips together so i will see how this will hold up but the color is a really really nice red color and okay i love red color so maybe i can't like i love all reds but yeah that is my first impression with odin's eye and annette's makeup corners palette giant wolves and it will be fun to use it more the only thing i have seen videos with this palette but like when I got it home, I was like, this is a small eyeshadow palette. I thought it was going to be bigger, even though I have seen people use it. So I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do it so you don't miss any of my videos. And don't forget to check out Annette. I will leave her 
videos, I almost said I will leave a channel down in the description. And also, she's done one of her 10 looks one palette with this palette. I will leave that down in the description as well. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!